Absolutely. So learning to obey Consistent. can become Consistent. easy. Yes, yes. yes. You, do you hear what I say? Learning to obey can become easy. Uh-huh. It, it can push you into a place where you can have uncommon obedience. Yes, wow. Because mm. mm. Joshua had uncommon obedience. Do you know? His, his obedience wasn't common. <laughs> <laughs> because Moses uh, had Aaron, he had uh, uh, Miriam, all those yes. who were around him, yet they weren't obedient like Joshua. That's right, that's mm -hmm. right. See? Do you hear what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They weren't obedient. They were there, but their level of obedience and submission was not the same. Come mm on. -hmm. So, so you had them around, you had the Miriam, you had Aaron, but they struggled to obey. Jesus. This is why even though they should have had the inheritance, they couldn't get it because of their lack of obedience. So he said, listen, he said, I'm not going to now allow you to now function in this capacity so that we can fulfill what needs to be done. He said, you've got to understand the next mandate. Come on. My God. So you got to understand. I'm trying to push you. And he said, Miriam, you right there, but you ain't following, you ain't following the order. Aaron, you right there, but you're not following the orders. You are but because Joshua is following the orders, I've got to push Joshua, Joshua. ahead of you. Yeah, and you're supposed to get the inheritance, but you can't get it because you won't obey. So some people can snatch your inheritance through their works of obedience. They can step in and step in something that was designed for you. Jesus.
That's not. I'm talking about leaders. That's convenience. That that's convenience. Mm -hmm. At, when I'm free, I'll get around to mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. You on the back burner. But Joshua said, you ain't on the back burner. I'm going to do it when you say it. Every command, everything you ask, I'm going to move swiftly. That's how, that's how Miriam got pushed back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's how Aaron got pushed back, even though he was supposed to go. He was supposed to receive it. That's right. You think I'm going to be the one telling Pharaoh and I'm going to miss it? Because <laughs> I let people get in my ear. Whoa. Eric right got moved by the people. Uh, see? You let him tell you what to tell them and see nothing. He can't even tell. That don't make no sense. If you know he's stuttering and then Moses Mary out trying, and then you know, you know all kind of gossip will be right, coming right, on about right, the leader. Right, right. And you know what? It don't make no sense. And see, she out there coming, she's living by faith. And see, you ain't got to do see, all that. Come on. You don't take all that. And see, a possibly be going too far. And she act like she can't. It's all right. I'll get around to it. She don't wait. Y'all don't wait. You don't want to hear me today. Come on. Yeah, it's in here. That's how people do. I'm going to wait to the last minute because I'm going really, to just say it just in the nick of time. Because I, I ain't going to be obedient for real. I'm just going to act like I'm obedient. Wow. <laughs> right. Because it's a posture. Mm. Right. You you speaking without speaking and don't know it. And don't know it. So you was thinking, you know what, I'm still here. Yeah. But your spirit yelling, I'm not. I'm not. Right, right. I'm really connected, but your spirit saying, no, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. Because there was a time, if I said it, bam. Yes. There was a time. <laughs> Hello, lights. Right. So good. Though. And that's where most people find themselves. They get to a place where they don't feel like they want to be obedient. Mm. But they don't realize it's hindering them from crossing over. Jesus. Uh -huh. <laughs> to hearing the Holy Ghost, to the obedience of the will of the Father, to the obedience of the faith. Yes, Because you can't cross paths obedience to believe. My time is up. <laughs> Y'all want me to sit down here? <laughs> hey, Amen. I'm just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I know you're being blessed. This is serious. It is. And this is how, this is how I have learned to walk uh, for years. Sometimes uncomfortably so, but it was yet being obedient. Yes. Yes. And I tell my people, you're not doing nothing that I've already done. Right. Right. My kids was laying on. See, today we got all kinds of stuff. They ain't have no TV where you can go watch your videos and things. What no. about cell phones? No. They had to lay on the pew and sit on the floor. Y'all, yeah, come on. Yeah. Right. Now we can make it comfortable for our children. <laughs> right. My kids don't have that. No. Wherever I went, they just had to go. No, we didn't. Yeah. Lay down there. Right. We're going back to church again. Lay down there. We're right. going to get training again. Lay down there. Right. We're going to take the pastor somewhere. Go on in the back seat. We're going to get you a coloring book and come on. Let's go. Yeah. Right. Right. That's it. Right. The pastor called again, mommy? Yeah, come on. Right. The pastor called again? Come on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Y'all moving too slow. I told him I'm already on the way. Let's go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's that serious. Do, do you hear what I'm saying? It's that serious. I remember, I, I remember my son was getting ready to go to college. We were taking him to the, uh, the entrance day and everything, and we were in the conference with Apostle Vincent, and then we said, okay, Daddy, we got to go a day early because our son got to be there. He said, the Lord said no. I said, okay, but well, my son, you know, we packed. The Lord said no. I said, okay, sir. I had to call my son. Listen, we're going to have to call to school. Because you know why? Because we can't come today. Because um, Apostle Blessing told us we can't leave today. We're going to have to leave tomorrow. So we're going to have to change. So we got to call to school. I know tomorrow is the day you're supposed to be on the camera. But I'm going to call. Right. And I'm going to have to work out. Mm -hmm. He said, Mom, I already know. <laughs> see, if he say no, you can't come. Yeah, yeah, see, yeah. See, see, she's right in the mm -hmm. I already know. Mm -hmm. And it's not a struggle for you. 
He was like, all right, I know, okay. Come up. That part. Yeah. <laughs> that when your family begins to know. Come on, come on, come on. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. That part. Yeah. That challenges you beyond whatever relationship. Yeah. That part. Oh. And when your spouse is being called upon by your spiritual leader, you don't get, ah! Uh -huh. Right? Uh -huh. Right. People right. get jealous, they get that's enough. Now I need time. I need what is God saying? No, don't wanna hear this. No, Jesus. Because sometimes it'll challenge even your home, but it's to produce something in you that your home will benefit from down the line. Teach. Preach. But if you still oh well, you know, I'm trying to Honey, that little time you trying to get ain't worth nothing. Uh, 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 you're gonna have a greater time in the end if you obey now. Obey now. We we enjoy the fruit of our labor now. Come on, somebody. Jesus. We oh, I heard. <laughs> you en we're enjoying the fruit of our labor now. Right. So them little sacrifices don't mean nothing. And really, that wasn't even sacrifice. That was just obedience. Okay. Sacrifice. <laughs>